Hi, and welcome to another episode of Alicia Makes Toys. Today we're making Ryan from Cacao Friends in a bee costume. Now let's get started. So first I print out my concept art to size so I know what size to make the actual figurine. Then I take some aluminum foil and I ball it up so I can make the rough size of the head and body of Ryan. And make sure to make it a little bit smaller than where you want it to be because we'll be adding clay afterwards. And then we use some clay to cover up the aluminum foil balls. Here I'm using Super Sculpey and Beige, but feel free to use whatever Sculpey or Palmer clay that you have on hand. Then I take a toothpick that I cut in half so that I can skewer the head onto the body. And I use some Super Sculpey Baking Bond to make sure that the head and body is secure together. I also poke some holes in the back to prevent clay pimples while baking this first round. And then I bake. After baking, I then cover the Sculpey clay with a custom orange color that I kind of made out of orange, white, and yellow Sculpey Primo clay. And then I baked. And then wet sand it till nice and smooth so I have a good base to then work from. And then I take a mix of actually yellow and white Primo clay that I mixed together and put a pasta roller on three to then make his bee costume. And take another strip of clay to make the hood. and cut off the excess. And remember to cover the back of the head. And then put some extra clay until you get the shape you want. And blend in. To make the honey pot, I take some brown clay, then I make a snake of clay for the lip, and then I attach the lip onto the sphere. And before I bake, I make sure to brush on a mixture of Sculpey Bacon Bond and clay softener to any new parts we attached. And then I bake. So after baking, I take a look at where we are right now compared to where my concept art was and I attach a little bit more clay until I have the shape that closely resembles what I have in my concept art. Now I attach some brown clay so I can make the stripes of the bee costume. To the honey pot. I take some honey looking clay that I mix some the orange with some gold with and then I kind of make some drippy parts like this so that it looks like honey is oozing out of the pot kind of like in my concept art. brush on more of that Sculpey Bacon Bond and Clay Softener. And bake. After baking, I reassess, does the honey pot actually fit with Ryan? Like if Ryan was holding it, would his arm be really long and not cute? And so I decided to nix the honey pot with Ryan and just do a solo Ryan. And the honey pot can be next to Ryan in the photos and stuff. So no harm done. 
So I only made half the drippy parts for the honey pot because I thought the rest wasn't needed. But you know, plans change. Now it's a solo honey pot. And here's how I made the bee. Take some really small brown snakes of clay and wrap it around so you get that bee stripes. And roll it so you flatten it a little bit. And put it on the honey pot. For the wings, I take some blue and opal clay that I mix together. And then I kind of pinch it to make little wings. And then I attach it to the bee. And then I brush on that mixture of Sculpey Bacon Bond and clay softener. And then I bake. And what sanded Ryan until smooth? I didn't touch the honey pot with the bee, it's too tiny and too delicate. Next I roll out Ryan's arms. And round out the edges using your fingers. And pinch the edge you plan to attach to Ryan so it's easier to blend in later. And now attach the arms. Now on to the legs. We kind of do the same thing, but we have a slightly thicker cylinder to work with. The difference is that we're going to cut the legs at an angle so that the legs can actually face forward. Otherwise, they would just be a little bit wonky when getting attached. And then I use a little extra clay to make sure the legs are attached to the body. To make the ears, I use a little bit of yellow clay where I plan to attach so that's easier to bond later. Then I roll out some yellow clay and then use a small cookie cutter to cut out the ears. and pinch the end where I want to attach for easier blending later. Now I attach the ears. For the bee antenna, I roll out a small cylinder and attach it like this. And place the balls on top because that's what I drew in the concept art. and really make sure you brush on that mixture so that things don't fall apart. It's pretty delicate right now. And I bake. I find it easier to bake with the rough shape I want and then to start filling in all the little gaps that I left afterwards. Otherwise, I feel like it's kind of like bubble gum and it keeps moving around a lot, but having that base I've already established and baked to then do something like this is just a lot easier and added, adds a lot of strength to the project and keeps the shape you wanted originally. I then also just add a little bit of extra clay to Ryan's butt and legs and arms um, until it's like the shape I want it to be. And then I brushed on a little bit more of that mixture just in case and bake. And wet sand gently to see what shape we have right now. And then from wet sanding, I can see that we still have some a few spots to fill in, so I'll do that here. And then I add a little bit of clay onto the face, so that'll be easier to attach Ryan's facial features. And then I extruded a white snake of clay on the largest setting to make his collar. part you get to make the face so you add some white balls for his mouth check your reference photo to see like uh where do I actually put these balls and then when you're happy tap them in for the nose kind of pinch some brown clay and then place it on place on some brown spheres for the eyes and then tap it in until you like what you see and take some small brown snakes of clay to make the eyebrows
and some orange balsa clay to make the bangs. And blend it in. For his wings, I take more of that blue and opal Primo Sculpey clay that we used before and then I just cut out some wings. Then I tap in the rough edges and combine the circles and blend them in. Place some yellow clay so it's easier to attach the wing onto Ryan. Then place the wings. And then indent to, it looks like there's two different wings. Then brush on that mixture to make sure the wings are attached and also all the facial features too. And then bake. And then wet sand carefully. And you'd be done sculpting by now. But then I had an idea for a bee rind, like a bee with Ryan's face on it. So here, we do the same thing we did with the other bee, except make it a little bit bigger. I just thought it'd be really funny to make a bee Ryan. I could just imagine the photo opportunities, so yeah. So this kind of came late into the concept, but if you are inspired, do it. I just wish I could think of it sooner so that the concept art actually looked like the end product, but whatever. And then you put Ryan's face onto this bee. disclaimer for this version of the bee. Um, I kind of was inspired by the tutorial from creative Rachi. so if you want to see how she makes the bee, feel free to look at the links I have down below from where I got it from. Um, and I think her tutorial is probably better than this, so it's probably worth watching. on the mixture to attach all the things you attach to this bee and bake. Now it's time for painting on the things we didn't make out of the colored clay because it was a little too hard and there's be too much clay mixing and so I'm brushing on some brown. I realized from sanding I discolored some areas so I'm repainting those and I found out what Posca pens are and they're so easy to use and so neat. It makes it really easy to put on some cheeks Put on some highlights in the ears, and I think it looks really nice. What do you think? And I use some Liquitex matte varnish to just make it a little bit more matte. And I brush on some iridescent acrylic paint so that it looks super cool. And some Liquitex gloss varnish so it's super shiny. And I wrote my name at the bottom so you know that I made it. And Posca pens for the win. I don't think I could do this without a Posca pen because I'm not that great with a paintbrush. And I put some matte varnish so that it won't scrape away as easily so you know I made it forever. I then add some gold paint to the honey so it looks super nice. And topped it off with some gloss varnish so it's super shiny. And I added some iridescent paint like I did on Ryan's wings so that they all match and they all look super awesome. The, like shinier, the better. More iridescent, awesome. All right, and you're done. And so I deviated from the concept art a little bit, but I think the end product is pretty fun. It's super cute. And I love the little derpy bee right in the back. 
All right, well, thank you so much for watching. If you liked what you see, feel free to subscribe and give the video a like. Thank you.